Welcome to another edition of the Dallas and Mavericks Report. It's media day in downtown Dallas. The Mavericks, of course, are welcoming a lot of players and a lot of media around here at American Airlines Center as they're very excited about another season. The Mavericks are coming off a 50 and 32 season in which they lost in the first round of the playoffs to the Houston Rockets in five games. Since winning the NBA title in 2011, the Mavericks have not gotten out of the first round of the playoffs. They missed the playoffs one of those years and they got knocked out in the first round the other three years. Coach Rick Carlisle is hopeful, very hopeful, that this would be the year they at least get to the second round of the playoffs. They have a very exciting rookie in Justin Anderson, a lot of new faces, including a brand new backcourt and point guard Darren Williams. When you have, you know, Wes who can shoot the three, Parsons who can shoot the three, Dirk who can shoot the three, you know, at the end of a basketball game and you run pick and roll, you know, it's kind of like pick your poison. And so that's, that's uh, you know, kind of where I flourish. Dirk Nowitzki is back again for his 18th season. He's 37 years old. He may have to be the go-to guy on this team since the go-to guy the last two years, Monte Ellis, is now playing basketball for the Indiana Pacers. This franchise always prides itself in, in winning and uh, making the playoffs. And that's got to be the goal, uh, no matter who goes out there, no matter who makes the team. Also gone is Ray John Rondo, the point guard who got into it with head coach Rick Carlisle during a game, a home game against Toronto last season. He's now playing for the Sacramento Kings. All in all, it's going to be a very exciting season. The Mavericks hope, and they also, as, as I said before, hope to at least get to the second round of the playoffs. And that's it for this edition of the Dallas Mavericks Report. I'm Dwayne Price. Everyone's writing us off. Nobody respects us this year. Uh, you know, with me and Wes coming off surgery and him getting a big contract, Darren Williams having a lot to prove with everything that happened with him in Brooklyn, you know, McGee being hurt, uh, Dirk being so old. Uh, <laughs> you know, everyone's you know, not even talking about the Mavs, which is good because now we're, you know, motivation and um, with the makeup of our roster and our guys, we have a lot of hungry, humble guys with a chip on their shoulder ready to prove everybody wrong. <laughs>